We're continuing to celebrate 50 years of the Baylor line by hearing from the three founding members of this storied tradition. Mike, Bruce, and Kirk were the three original students who dreamed up this tradition anchored in hope and resiliency. Let's hear their story from the line now. My name is Kirk Newsom. My name is Bruce Finley. My name is Mike Plunk. I was a here for three years, my sophomore, junior, and senior year. Uh, this is our Baylor jacket, and we just thought we were that in a bag of chips. This was my first original megaphone, and uh, we'd even get our names on them too, and that's how we could get the bears going. To pull this out of the closet, still having it just Makes me want to put it on and go do a few jumps, but uh, <laughs> I don't know how that'd go. Oh, the Baylor line. Such a humble but great beginning, especially when you can look back 50 years ago. It was the fall of 1970, and it was the beginning of my senior year. We had, uh, uh, my junior year as a yell leader, we went 0 and 10. We didn't win a game at all. We had a meeting about what were we gonna do with our 0 and 10 season backing us up and Mike said we we got to find somebody that can get the you know the student body excited and uh, we decided to uh, create the Baylor line what we did was try to find someone who could be easily excited who would do whatever we asked whenever we asked it and we looked at each other and said freshman men we had put it in the uh, lariat for them to come to talk about a program we were starting. We met in Mars McLean Gymnasium one evening. Hopefully we'd get 25, maybe 50. 200 freshman men showed up out of control. Sort of the way that we got them interested was that you're going to have one of some of the best seats in the house. <laughs> and you can bring your date and uh, they'd have the prestige of being in the Baylor line. We got the Baylor men to come. The old saying, you can get Baylor freshman men to do almost anything. But they came and we started that group and uh, really excited that it uh, went on. Every week, it grew bigger. More freshman men were coming in. Everybody said, I want to be in that section. We never had a problem with enthusiasm. We never had a problem with attendance. We never had a problem with them following directions. Everybody wanted to be on the Baylor line. I think the line played a vital role in the renewed excitement that was building at Baylor. Because most importantly, uh, we beat A&M, and it was homecoming. <laughs> we beat the Aggies, 29-24, uh, I think the score was. Repeat that again. 29 to 24 over A&M. We can do anything if we have focus, desire, persistence, and passion. And I think that's what this organization brought uh, when we started it in 1970. It's just the greatest feeling, you know, to know that I was a part of something that will be here forever. 50 years down the road, to see the Bader line expand into uh, both men and women uh, and in numbers that are just off the charts. It's pretty exciting to see the organization, how it's grown, and the excitement that the Baylor line brings to McLean Stadium. We don't try to take the credit for it. A lot of people between us and today helped make it what it is today. It's something very meaningful for freshmen to want to be a part of, and it's that initial connection that we all have. 50 years down, they'll feel it, and they'll be excited when they get to come back.